Good girl, good girl, good girl. Right, everyone. So we're looking at basic retrieves today. <clears throat> I'm going to be using some footage from one of my uh, clients in a minute. I just wanted to talk over a few things that are really, really important. Now, when you first start retrieving, you want to limit the space that your dog has available for it to do a retrieve. It's not about how far out it goes, it's about how it comes back. So if it doesn't have to go so far, you'll generally uh, end up with a cleaner retrieve. Our main objective all the time is to be looking for that dog to hold on to the retrieve. That's really, really important. Now there's lots of variables that come into play here and different things that you need to do. I can only generalize. So if you're having a particular problem, and I don't cover it. It won't be a surprise because there are so many different things that can go on. But mainly what I'm looking to do is always to try and see if I can get that dog onto me to interact with me, to play a game together. If your dog's got toys externally from when you do retrieving, i.e. when it's in the house, don't be surprised if that is hugely damaging towards your retrieve. So I really like to take any external toys away and then the only game is the game that you play together. I want that dog to hold on to that retrieve. So if you find the dog prefers one thing from another, a little toy or a sock, um, generally you'll find go with that item that they prefer most and that they like holding on to because it's about setting habits, uh, installing good habits that will allow you to move forward. Um, you'll see uh, in the video, the dog uh, that we're using has been a little bit prone to dropping. What you find is when you try and smother a dog, it often wants to push itself away from you. So you have to sort of uh, balance a lot of different things going on at once. It's quite an organic thing when you first start teaching a dog to retrieve. It can be quite a tricky thing and it's probably one of the number one things that I come up against with clients. But as I said, main thing is we want that dog to hold on to the retrieve. We want that dog to be coming into us. We want to minimize distractions, minimize space that the dog has available for it to do when it's doing the retrieves. And you want to use something, as I said, that the dog likes. My main objective is that dog to hold on. So if it means that you can't get the dog on you at the beginning, I'll take that. If it's on the ground in front of you, you're having to rub its back, trying to keep that dog's head up. You'll see lots of examples of that in, that in this next bit of footage. As I said, it's literally impossible for me to cover all the different things that can go wrong, but I hope this will help you. Anyway, watch the clip that's coming ahead. Any problems, drop any questions in the description, either on my Facebook, my YouTube, and I'll do my best to help you out, guys. Right, so here we are with Vicky with her young cocker bitch and our main objective today is just to have a little bit of fun and try and get this little dog to carry on holding onto the retrieve. You'll see straight away uh, the pup has come back and Vicky sort of uh, tried to get the dog up onto her. Now ideally what we're looking to do is get that dog's front feet on her chest and her back feet on the floor behind her. You're going to see there she's going to take the retrieve, then she's going to pop the dog underneath her left arm. She's going to throw her arm out releasing the dog onto the retrieve and then nice subtle encouragement getting that dog back. Now again what we're looking to do ideally is swivel that dog round. She's slightly side on there. It's not perfect but our main objective is that that dog carries on holding onto that retrieve. That goes above everything else. Now here I said to her just give the dog a little bit of a rub at the back end. Don't make the dog think you're immediately trying to go for that retrieve and then slowly manipulate her around. If she thinks the dog is going to get let go of the retrieve because she's holding it maybe by the edge, I say just take the retrieve and say dead. That way the dog hasn't done anything wrong. So here we go again underneath her left arm. Going to throw the retrieve out in a moment. And then throw her right arm out as a release. That will come into play a bit later on. Bit of encouragement. Back she comes again. Front feet on her chest. Just asking her to manipulate around. That way we we'll try and keep that head up. and That way we stand a better chance of holding onto the retrieve. I'll generally say left hand lead, right hand retrieve, and then you take the retrieve away. And then we go again. Here we go underneath the left arm, release with the right arm, bang, out she goes. A bit of subtle encouragement. Back she comes. Once again, front feet on the chest. That's the ideal scenario. But always, I want the dog to hold onto that retrieve. And if it means the dog having its feet on the floor, like here, and she's just interacting with her back end, rubbing her, letting her know that it's okay. Trouble is when you try and take these retrieves too quick, they tend to want to drop them.